Good thing. Um, just a comment that um, you know, having worked with Mont Adams before, he's been very thorough, and this is, this is no different. And appreciate the time that you you spend with TriMet staff, and uh, I also was able to spend some time with Nancy, and, and uh, appreciate all your efforts. So thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, you said something on internal controls. You. You didn't go through the internal controls, or what? You said there was a question in your opening statement on internal controls. The, the requirement over internal controls, our opinion is not an opinion on the effectiveness of internal controls. But yes, we walk through all of the internal controls over the key uh, transactions or classes of transactions. That's important for us to determine the nature, the timing, and extent of the testing to be performed. We conduct walkthroughs of those controls, and we actually conduct tests of those controls, but our opinion is not an opinion on internal controls. But a significant amount of time is spent on internal controls. Yes, yes, that's what I was looking for. Yes, you look at definitely. Yes. So quick, uh, one follow-up, Rick. Uh, how long does an audit like this take? This is a big, this is a big operation. Yeah, it is, and that's a great question. So our approach is that we first come out and we do interim uh, work, and that interim work specifically focuses around the internal controls that are in place within the district. And each year, um, we look at those key processes that are put in place, so those, you know, the significant areas that we know we're going to look at. In addition to that, a statement of auditing standard 99, which is titled Consideration of Fraud and a Financial Statement Audit, also requires the audits auditors to do something of a surprise nature each year. And so we will look at those internal controls from a different perspective. We may look at internal controls that we didn't look at last year, even if they're not necessarily key or material. But we do change it up each year. And again, that could be through the nature of the testing that we do, the timing of the testing, um, the, the depth of the testing, looking at that control process in a different way. That, uh, that part of it is a week long that we are out um, at the district. And then we do uh, our final field work, and that is approximately about a two and a half week process. Uh, regarding the staffing on there, I think we had six, do we have six, yeah, six auditors um, on site at TriMet uh, during final field work, and I think we had about four or five during the interim control testing. Thank you. Thank you. Estimated completion date for all of it. For, for all of it, actually we are, uh, well, we are looking to receive the management representation letter today. So we should be issued very quickly. And then when you get that letter, then you reissue the draft and make it. Uh, yes. Hi, my first comment. Someone humorously, uh, Lisa noted that uh, we, uh, there was no indication that we had uh, actually gone opinion shopping. And, you know, yeah, I wanted a non clean opinion. I <laughs> And I know as a member of the uh, Finance Committee, we were very complimentary about uh, our staff and their cooperation and their professionalism, so especially Laura uh, and her group, and uh, appreciated those comments as well. So thanks to our auditors from uh, Mont Adams. And Beth, do you have anything else? Or? No, I don't. When we finish the audit, I'll give a brief monthly, my monthly report. Anything else for me? Seriously. Great. Thanks, Thanks, Lisa.